Charles Pugh's fall from grace takes yet another tumble. The former city council president led away in handcuffs. He now faces charges that could put him in prison for life. Right now, former Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh is in police custody in New York. Now, this morning at the U.S. Marshal's office, they sent their deputies out to arrest Pugh at his New York apartment. Six counts of criminal sexual conduct stemming from incidents that go back to 2003. Rod Maloney has been gathering more on this, and he joins us now live with more on when we expect to see Pugh back in Michigan, Rod. Well, Devin, we know one thing for certain, it won't be anytime soon, and that's something that we can talk about. But in the meantime, we're on Adelaide Street here in the city of Detroit, just off of Woodward Avenue, just across the street from the new district project. And it's here where Kim Worthy is claiming that he allegedly had sexual relations with a 13-year-old boy in a house just down the street here, and that was 14 years ago. Officers executed the arrest warrant for Charles Pugh at 6.30 this morning. The dramatically thinner former city council president had nothing to say as they marched him away to central booking and he's yet to have his arraignment. He's charged with three counts of first degree sexual conduct with a minor and three third degree counts for allegedly having a physical relationship with a 13 year old boy who is now 27 years old. It is a different case than Pew's most recent civil court case, where he ended up forced to pay a quarter of a million dollars in damages to this teenager he mentored and sexually harassed in an after-school program Pew started at Frederick Douglass Academy. It was the beginnings of that case that led Pew to disappear from his job in City Hall and Detroit itself, fearing criminal prosecution. Former Detroit City Council member Sontil Jenkins succeeded Pew as president and calls his arrest tragic. It made me sad on, on multiple fronts. Um, sad for the little boy, the specific boy who's now a man in this case, as well as the other children who uh, Charles allegedly had inappropriate relationships with. And it, it makes me sad for Charles and whatever drives him to this place. Now, Jenkins says it was very difficult on her and the rest of the commission because you'll remember that Pew disappeared from town right at the time that the city of Detroit went into bankruptcy. She said that was really difficult on everybody because they were counting on him to do a lot of the heavy lifting there. Also, Wayne County uh, Prosecutor's Office is saying tonight that the young man met Charles Pugh at the Fox 2 studios in Southfield on a tour, and then they started talking, texting each other back and forth, and that's how it wound up here on Adelaide Street thereafter. Back to you. Well, Rod, let's go back to this uh, issue over how long it'll take to get Pew back. Is uh, What's behind the delay? Well, he has to have an arraignment first. He hasn't had that yet. He's still in the central booking uh, there in New York City. Has to have the arraignment, but then he can go into what's called an extradition hearing. And if he fights his extradition, which uh, the assumption is he probably will, considering he's facing life in this case, yeah, yeah. it could take several weeks for him to return back to Michigan. So we'll be watching for that carefully. That'd be well. All right, Rod.